Okay, Coach. Uh, first off, A.J. Hammonds returning. Uh, obviously, that's a big boost to this Purdue team. What did it mean when he decided and declared that he was coming back for his junior season? Well, I think he, uh, he made a great decision. You know, I, he would have probably gotten drafted. Um, from all um, of the information that we got back, that you know, in the late in the second round, and uh, a lot of those guys that are late in the second round, most of those guys in the second round are either in the D League or overseas. And so, when you bypass your education, you know, you need to bypass your education for guarantees, and he didn't have that. So coming back for at least one more year, I thought was a, was a great decision on his part, and we're looking forward to him having a you know a really good year. Ray and Bryson, obviously very familiar to people here in Fort Wayne. What kind of impact can they have going forward for this for this program as a whole? Well, I think you know, just having a great summer and a, and a great fall. You know, Ray Phil has um, a lot of experience being able to play a lot in his first two seasons there. Bryson um, had had a tough year. You know, I think he had big time expectations, um, and, it, and it's hard. It's hard in your freshman year. Ray Phil can talk about that in his first you know twelve to fifteen games. Um, but both of them are going to have an unbelievable opportunity. And I think that's what you want to start with, an opportunity to be able to play, play a lot of minutes and help your team win. So, you know, those guys need to, you know, get off to a good start, have a great summer, and uh, really make a big leap between their freshman and sophomore and their sophomore and junior years. I imagine freshmen are either on campus or matriculating to campus very shortly. Um, throughout this summer, what have you seen from the incoming players, uh, maybe Isaac specifically, that can add to what you had last season? Yeah, well, they just got here. Uh, school just started yesterday. Workout started today. And, um, and so I, I have not seen them yet in terms of playing. Um, you know, Isaac obviously gives us a, a big-time inside presence both on, on both ends of the court um, to go along with A.J. So at 7'2", 300 pounds, you know, he's a very intimidating, imposing type player that you don't see every day. So, you know, but, you know, he's also just one piece. I think all the other four freshmen, I think they're going to have a great opportunity to play also. You know, after the Northwestern loss, you kind of put the, the brunt of, of the blame, if you will, on your shoulders, saying, you know, this isn't a school district, these are guys that I recruit. So how, has, how have the last four months been different um, since you've kind of said that and taken that approach? Uh, to be a different type of off-season for you. Well, I, I always take that approach. I don't always take that approach publicly, uh, and so that's a little, a little bit different. But but it's true. You know, you you know you recruit guys and you get them there and you believe in them and you, you know, uh, it's the first time I, I felt like I had members of our team that actually played that shut down, whether an assistant or a head coach in 21 years, and uh, you know that was disappointing. That was really disappointing, but that's also, like I said, that's that's my issue also. You know, I, I got to figure that out, and the people I invest in, you know, have to be people that believe in me also and believe in our system and believe in our team. And uh, I think how we play and how we go about things through the Coach Katie years, just that blueprint, I think it's been proven. And uh, we just get, need to get more guys that have that type of fiber. With the guys that you graduate and also Ronnie moving on, you know, um, the youth that you had on last year's team with Basil mm -hmm. and with Kendall, right. how critical of a summer is this for Purdue basketball as a program? Well, I think it's you know it's it's good to be a, a functional player. And sometimes guys come in they don't quite understand those terms. And, and that jump between your freshman and sophomore year is just really learning how to play organized basketball. You know, you think you do, and you get in there. Do you make open shots? Do you make your free throws? Do you take care of the basketball? When you can do those things as an offensive player, you really help your team. Then defensively, can you follow a scouting report? Can you hang your hat on the details of our scouting report and do it every single solitary time? And then can you embrace the physicality of the game? You know, you kind of have your offense, your defense, then you have your intangibles. I think all those pieces are so important for a young guy and you learn so much your freshman year now you got to really tighten things up going into your sophomore year and be better at those things i know that uh, he doesn't get a lot of playing time or people know that much about him but johnny mckeeman is a carroll kid um what does he bring to your program and uh, what kind of uh, influence does he have uh, both on the court and in the classroom for these guys. Well, he's great. You know, he, he's on top of things. He, he knows what he wants to do, um, you know, the rest of his life, really. And, and a lot of young people don't do that. But he, he's, he's a brilliant person and understands what goes on and cares and pays attention and, you know, puts in a lot of time in the classroom, but also puts in a lot of time in his game. And you can't have enough guys like that that have substance. Um, when you have guys like him, it really rubs off on your other players. Anything else you'd like to add? Coach? No, I'm fine.